everybody, welcome to oldpocketknives.com. This is Jesse, and today we're gonna take a look at some of my favorite blades on Old Pocket Knives. It's called the Sheepfoot Blade. Check out the notes at the bottom for some information about each of the blades and knives below. Let's get into it. Okay, so just before we get into the individual knives themselves, I wanted to just say a word about the um, Sheepfoot Blade itself and uh, just some characteristics. You'll notice that it has a straight cutting surface um, this kind of sweeping spine on the back and as a result it really stuck out of the uh, the, the frame of the, of the knife itself which made it look pretty cool but it was used by farmers um, who worked with um, animals especially sheep and kind of working in their hooves uh, this sort of blunter tip would prevent any accidental you know poking or stabbing of the animal themselves and uh, that's kind of the, the main point I guess or the origination of this the sheep foot blade Okay, so I wanted to show these knives to you guys. Um, I hope you think they're as cool as I do because they have kind of a neat shape to them and uh, not exactly the best for your pocket, but this is just a cool look with this kind of big blade kind of sticking out of the top. Uh, this first one is a uh, diamond edge, as you can see here. That was the trademark of the company um, who contracted these out, which was Shapley Hardware Company. Shapley Hardware Company was a large uh, hardware um, distributor back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And um, they contracted companies like um, Camillus, I've heard Empire out of the New England area, and also Schrade um, made a lot of their knives. And um, <clears throat> this definitely has some Schrade tells on it, and you can kind of see uh, pocket worn but most certainly peach seed bone, which is something that is, you know, very, very much a Schrade Cutlery Company thing. I would say this knife dates from the 1930s, maybe to 1940 or so, and um, has brass liners. And uh, that big sheep foot blade has a, a nice uh, long pull. It also has a pattern number on it, which is B358. So take a look at those catalogs, see if we can find it. Okay, so this Kabar knife also obviously has a sheep's foot blade, but also some cool, interesting features that I thought made it pretty unique. First of all, you'll notice that the second blade is actually on the back instead of the front like the others. As you can see, the pen blade is accessible in the front of the knife on, the, on those, but um, on this one, it's in the back. So it kind of really features that, that main sheep's foot blade. It has the Kabar uh, nickel silver shield on it. It's a very nice green bone, which uh, Case used quite extensively. Um, pocket worn handles, I really like that. Brass liners, nickel silver bolsters. And this, this uh, bale, which is kind of a neat feature too. Usually this was something that was um, a factory order. You had to request in order to get that. Um, this knife right here uh, has the Kabar stamp on it. And I, it might say USA underneath that, but I'm not quite sure. It features a match striker pull, which you could take a match and light your match on there, at least uh, I haven't tried it, but um, why not? Should, should work, right? It also could just refer to that aesthetic um, kind of sawtooth pattern there that's on it. But um, the other blade kind of helps to date the knife a little bit because it is stamped Union Cutlery Company, Olean, New York, USA. And I believe those were pre-early 40s, maybe 1943, I think I saw. Uh, so this this knife probably dates from the, maybe from the 20s, uh, maybe until 1940 or so, but probably in the 30s as well, I'm just guessing. Um, but a pretty cool knife, and uh, one you don't see too often. All right, and then the third knife I wanted to show you today is also a jig bone handle. Um, the Rogers bone, I believe, that Remington was known for. You can also find them on, like, PAL knives as well. Very, the, basically the exact same kind of jigging pattern. But, um, 
one thing you'll notice is that it has some initials sort of engraved on the federal style shield there gvj maybe gvj it looks like um a lot of times these shields were meant for um you know engraving or personalization but most people uh, didn't do that um, this one also has a long pull the sheep foot blade uh, as you can see here it has the circle stamp uh, remington uh, with made in usa on the outside and i don't think there's any blade etch or anything or at least not anymore um has nice uh good uh snap on those blades it has a secondary blade as well on the front also with a circle stamp on it uh, brass liners just like the others nickel silver bolsters like the others and it's a cool looking knife as well i bought this one with a group of uh, knives while we were in maine on vacation this summer and um i think it was maybe 10 knives or so uh, for about $140 or something. And uh, I sold the others and uh, basically got this one for free. I even actually shipped it home from Maine. So kind of paid for it with uh, selling the other knives, but uh, I really like this one. Very cool looking knife as well. So let me open it up like the others, lay it out so you can see those. And this is my current bone sheep foot blade collection okay before we go uh, i wanted to show you this bonus sheep foot knife that i found in the collection as well uh, i believe it has cocobolo wood handles because it has the lighter tones in it ebony has is just jet black um, but anyway cool looking knife with the little federal shield really pops in that dark handle uh, also has a long pull and that sheep foot blade and it's made by leonard and um, i couldn't find much about leonard but i've seen them here and there but uh, not much information out there other than they could have been made by Schrade, um contracted for another company uh, but anyway nickel silver bolsters this one's a, a, a bear head jack because it has uh, no bolster on the end and it's a single blade as opposed to the double blades we've seen today and I believe it's pretty old, um, but wanted to share this one with you as well. All right, guys, so um, I hope you enjoy this video. It's one of my favorite patterns, one of my favorite blades, the sheep foot blade. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, ask me questions in the comments below if you have any. Um, as always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. And uh, everybody have a great day. Happy collecting. And I'll see you later. This is Jesse from OldPocketKnives.com. See you.